This guy right here, a tiny UPS for the Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at an alternate power supply for the Raspberry Pi. Pi Sugar 2. This version is the Pi Sugar 2. It has five amp hours or 5,000 milliamp hours of capacity and operates at 3.7 volts and claims to get around six hours of lifetime. Uh, its form packer is about the same size as the Raspberry Pi, so it should sit quite nicely underneath of it, but let's unbox it and see what it looks like. Inside the box is the nice little package. It's got the battery on top of the control board, which is good. And on the sides, we have a power in and power out for the Raspberry Pi. But a little backstory first. The reason why I needed this is because I chose originally a power supply that, well, to be short, sucked. And let this be a lesson to you. Never choose expediency over quality. It will get you in the end. Every time. Inside of this green thing, when you undo it, it reveals a solitary 1865 cell. The same kind of cell that feeds the Tesla Roadster. Except there's one instead of 6,831. They're also the same cells that are used in laptops. If we take a look at one of those cells that's causing me so much pain, the 1865 cell by Samsung, it's got about half the capacity of the Pi Sugar 2. But yet I was only getting 15 minutes of runtime. So let's dive into some of the, the system stats and see if we can see where things went awry. The Raspberry Pi 4 Model B needs 5 volt, 3 amps, either on the OSB or the header. And that's about 15 watts. So if we do some math, which I love. The Pi Sugar 2 has a capacity of 18.5 watt hours and the 1865 cell has 9.4 watt hours. If we use those <laughs> stats, then the Pi Sugar 2 would only last 1.2 hours. That's not right though. If we pull some information from the internet, so then we get some better usage information about what an idle or highly loaded Pi would look like. And it's much less, around three to five watts. So we visit our math a little bit and we get a much better answer. The Pi Sugar 2 will last six to three hours and the 1865, three to slightly less than two hours. So something very strange is going on with the power converter of my EPS. So what is a hobbies to do or a board engineer? Upgrades. A quick rundown of how to install the Raspberry Pi 2 Pro using a trusty Pi car. Here we go. There was actually a fairly easy install. I had to remove the Raspberry Pi from the car chassis and then size up the battery to see if it actually would fit on the mountings that I had. And it did, but I had to get another set of standoffs so that it would raise up and allow enough airflow and space between the battery and the Raspberry Pi. Those didn't come, but you can get a great little kit off Amazon. Uh, and then it was just a matter of remounting it and reattaching the leads. Bingo. You have a new functional UPS. So that's a quick rundown of the Pi Sugar 2 Pro. How it comes out of the box and a quick demo of how to install it. Hopefully that helps you with your project. It did for mine. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. See you next time and keep creating. Cheers.